right i'm at 145 east magnolia avenue beautiful san antonio texas take a look around the street here we are on the corner of uh east magnolia and mccullough avenue the end of last week i did a video of the the house on mccullough avenue which is about two blocks down here. The house, the driveway was right off McCullough. Um, you can see the coffee shop on the left, right over here. That's where, uh, I can see that from the driveway of the other house. Just kind of show you McCullough. I will say the, I drive this area a lot. I've never noticed this graffiti until today. Uh, this house here is closed and boarded up now. Um, it, you know, stuff like this happens sometimes. Doesn't normally stick around that long. Um, that is new. I, I haven't seen that before. So, show you the side of the house. The driveway is off of McCullough as well here. There's a two-car garage. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, well, I walked through the property before I started my video, and I don't recall access to the backyard, which is right here, from the inside. So, I think to get into the backyard, you do have to come out and walk down the street, unless I missed the door. Okay, there is a door here. That might be storage. I may have just missed it. Um, we'll find out. But it, extra roof tiles piled up here. They have mini split systems throughout the house. Uh, there's probably 10 or 12 of them. Small yard. excuse me yeah so this is a uh, lock shut but through here you can go in through that door and have access into uh, which is like a whole nother apartment over here it's uh the house is old there's actually that's an old coal chute uh, that you where at one point you would dump coal into the basement uh, there were probably steps here at some point in time as well. Uh, I will point out that there's a, a bakery right here. And on the end of it is Barbaro Pizza. Uh, Barbaro's, it's good pizza. Pizza by the slice. Um, they're proud of their Caesar salad. It's, uh, it's good. Um, cocktails and they're open till I think midnight every day. So come show you the other side of the house just since we're so close here. All stucco. You see the, the soffits falling. That's something that we can always negotiate uh, repair amendments on. Have that fixed. Come into the living room. Beautiful wood floors. Come out through here. This is a sunroom. Added on at some point in time here. Into the dining room. You will see 
many split systems all over. There's one right up there. There was one in the sunroom. Round into the kitchen. And we would go downstairs before we go upstairs. So these are older cabinets. And storage. It's, um, feels, it might be granite, but it's a hard bevel. But the ceiling tiled in the kitchen, refrigerator behind me. Then here we go down the stairs. This door does have access to lock. Uh, if you decided you wanted to maybe rent out the downstairs apartment or Airbnb or something, it's always an option. Um, this is going to lead us into the garage. That's the door to the backyard right here then. down this door is the one that goes outside there's a closet here walk down a few more steps into the efficiency apartment the kitchen you know I say efficiency it's a it's actually pretty big there's couple bedrooms we have a bedroom here I think that's a full-size box spring not quite a queen this is a little closet across to full bathroom. The living room. It's like painted concrete floors down here. And then there's just a, uh, the washer, washer dryer down here. Now this is, this is a good size room here for the laundry and they have storage. That's the old coal furnace or coal chute. Then this room with the glass door they have is like a wine cellar room where they had Bottles of wine along the walls, and then all in here. And then here is another small bedroom. Make a great man cave, hideout, extra spots for people to crash if needed. So there is no bathroom on the main floor. Um, we have the full bath downstairs and then there's one and a half bathrooms upstairs. Back up through the kitchen again. And that is overlooking the neighbor's pool in their backyard. You can watch them swim while you're washing dishes. Glass. 
steps come across to back to the living room, front door, sunroom, then up the steps, above the window, another mini split air conditioner. These are all controlled with remote controls. Here's a full bathroom. And into bedroom one. This is the bedroom that has the half bath in it here to the left. Look out over the backyard, over the garage. So the small closet here. And now into another sunroom. This room is connected to both of the bedrooms or two of the bedrooms that are up here. Uh, so you could possibly turn this into a big closet uh, block off this door and this leave this bedroom standalone. This is a good sized room. The other one does have the bathroom in it though, but turn that into a, a you know closet or this in an adjacent sitting room. The the doorknob needs tightened. I'm not gonna be able to open that closet door. So that's where we went in, it's full bathroom. So, and then this is bedroom three. And then this is a pretty narrow closet in here. Probably not much wider than a shirt. So, all right. Well, this is 145 East Magnolia. Let me know if you have any questions at all.